Meghan, Britain's Duchess of Sussex, gives birth to a boy. Prince Harry says Meghan has given birth to a baby boy. The infant will be seventh in line to the British throne and Queen Elizabeth II's eighth great-grandchild. Harry is the younger son of Prince Charles, the next in line to the throne, and the late Princess Diana, who died in a Paris car crash in 1997. The child will be eligible for dual British U.S. citizenship if Meghan and Harry want to go through the application process. Harry and Meghan married at Street George's Chapel on the grounds of Windsor Castle a year ago this month. In April, they moved from a house on the London grounds of Kensington Palace to Frogmore Cottage, which is near Windsor Castle, where they held their gala, VIP studded wedding reception. Journalists and well wishers have camped out for days in Windsor about 35 kilometers, 22 miles, west of London, awaiting the baby's arrival. Kensington Palace has said the new parents don't plan to pose for a photograph or appear in public with their baby for several days so they can celebrate privately. Meghan, a California native, had a starring role on the American TV series Suits. She had a previous marriage that ended in divorce and has strong feminist views. As the daughter of a black mother and a white father, she says she identifies as biracial. Harry, who has said he wanted to protect his wife from intrusive media coverage, and Meghan have said they plan to keep many of the details of the birth private. In a break from royal tradition, the couple have decided to keep details about the birth plan a secret. Buckingham Palace confirmed this afternoon that Meghan went into labor in the early hours of this morning with the Duke of Sussex by her side. Harry has an official visit to The Hague scheduled for Thursday when he is due to launch the one-year countdown to the Invictus Games 2020. The Duke would have to leave behind new mother Meghan and a newborn who is likely to be only two or three days old. The Duchess mother Doria Ragland was reported to have been staying with the Sussexes at Frogmore Cottage to help. The fact details are being kept secret means we are unsure whether Meghan is hospital or at home and we might not have another update. Normally royal couples announce where they've decided to have their baby, which means the eyes of the world sit watching the doors of the hospital waiting for news. Princess Diana and the Duchess of Cambridge both stood on the steps of the Lindo wing to show off their new rival just hours after giving birth. But Meghan and Harry are doing things differently, announcing their decision to keep certain parts of the special day private in a statement earlier this month. They wrote, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very grateful for the goodwill they have received from people throughout the United Kingdom and around the world as they prepare to welcome their baby. Their Royal Highnesses have taken a personal decision to keep their plans around the arrival of their baby private. The Duke and Duchess look forward to sharing the exciting news with everyone once they have had an opportunity to celebrate privately as a new family. Their decision also means we won't get the traditional hospital steps photo and it's likely that we will have to wait a few days to get the first glimpse of the royal baby. While many celebrated their decision to keep details of the birth out of the media spotlight, others were disappointed to be kept out of the loop. Prince Harry has attended a number of official engagements this week, including an Anzac service with Kate and the London Marathon, which was kept secret in case the baby arrived. The royal baby will grow up at Frogmore Cottage in Windsor after the couple finally moved in last month. The huge house has undergone a massive renovation to turn it into the perfect family home, including a brand new nursery for baby Sussex.